The last thing that uh, happened with the Draymond and KD thing is after the game, Kevin Durant was asked about the shot that uh, Steph hit, and he said, "Man, it's, he's one of the greatest players." He said, "Top five at this position," or he said, "He he said probably to go to this position and and no no I, what did he say? Top five at this position and probably top time top ten overall." No, and he tweeted that too. And Draymond said, you know, he, he he tweeted back and basically was like, only top five, you know. So I think he's saying that Steph might be higher uh, than what Kevin Durant is giving him. And I think Draymond is actually saying that he's in the GOAT debate, right? So uh, that's my question I got for y'all. Do y'all think Do y'all think there's any truth to that? Do y'all think you, that... You uh, couldn't even ask that question without laughing, so you already know. <laughs> <laughs> is Steph Curry a top five player of all time? Why or why not? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. He re he revolutionized the game. Nobody's ever been a pure shooter like that, bro. No. Mm. I, Nobody. I can, under, I can, I can I name can a lot. Under, I can you. understand why. Not, why not, not, not like him. Uh, Mark under, Price was exactly like him. Yup. He just played in the era where he wasn't question. allowed to do what Steph can do. Yeah. However, uh, without trying hard, I can name five players better than Steph. I can name ten players. Uh, so yeah, the answer is no. The easy sorry. answer is no. The well, here's what Matt, no. here's what Mad Dog said about it. You just heard KD uh, top five, five ever. You agree? No. Uh, how do I make the <laughs> top five ever when I got Kareem, Wilton, Russell, and LeBron and Jordan? That's five right there. I didn't give you Magic. I didn't give you Bird. I right. didn't give you Duncan. I didn't right. give you Shaq. I mean, Bird. how in the world could he be top five? I, he's not even better than Durant. And I'm going to have to mm. put Durant in the top ten. That's <sighs> listen. No, no, He's no. a nice shooter. Nobody's arguing. Nice. A nice shooter that is disrespectful <laughs> and that is messed up. No, he, yes, it is. He said he's definitely he's not top KD. five. He said he's not even better than the uh, KD. I agree with both of those things. He's, he's not he's even not top five at his position. I, I, I'm gonna say that. You know what? When I when I, I get, think about him, I do think of a top five shooter. So you might be right. I might. I mean, when you say all time player, top five player, that's. You can That's say he's the best shooter and still not be top five in at his position. Yeah, I, I honestly right. think I, 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 I'm thinking shooter though when I think about him. Every time you say Curry, I think shooter. So I think top five shooter. So I I, I, I give you that. Let me, it, let me it, ask it's, this: it's, it's what crazy. Exactly but, is his position because well, we're, we're, hold on. point guard? My bad. He's here. a point. He, he's a point guard. He's a point guard. I don't think he is. Well, he, he's a well, small he is, shooting though. guard to me. No, he's, a he, he's a point. He's he doesn't do the things that point guards do. He, he does. He, he averages six assists a game. Time. Say again. He averages six assists a game. He's a point. Yeah, but most of the time he doesn't initiate offense or run the offense for his team. So, isn't that one of the prime responsibilities of being a point guard? Yeah, but Bruce, he, 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 he ran the offense. If, if he ran the offense for his team each and every play, what would Draymond do? Right. <laughs> right. I, I think, and I, I think you got to have a place for your heart and soul to be on the floor, right? <laughs> hey, look! Just 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 oh, because you, right, you right. run your just because you run your quarterback twenty times a game doesn't mean he's a running back. He's still he's still a quarterback. He's just running right. So so my my thing is my how how much offense does he need to initiate to pass a a threshold to say he's a point guard? Because he initiates enough offense to to say he's a point guard, but he also does stuff off ball as well because he has that ability. Yeah, right? I get so, that. I think he's yeah. an off guard or a shooting guard, just a smaller one. That that's my opinion. I, yeah, I but mean, he does. But he does both though, because okay, if, the the first guy I seen play guard, like then. the that's the fine. first the first guard that I seen his size that played like him was Randolph Childers at Wake Forest, who played with Tim Duncan. No, and he was a, and he was a guy who played with a, a, a the best power forward of all time. Oh, he was an ass, and, and and Randolph was better than him on that squad. And yeah. shot the ball yeah. more than him. Same well, thing with Mahmoud Raoul. Uh, that's why I was going to bring Shaq. up Mahmoud Abdul Raoul. I was, played with Shaq. Yeah. yeah. I was going to bring him up. Exactly. So, I mean, we've seen point guards with scoring ability that have to use that scoring ability sometimes off the ball because when you're trying to concentrate on scoring, it's not best for you to have the ball because if you come down with a mindset, I want to score, and you mm -hmm. bring the ball up, mm -hmm. then that means you're never going to give the ball up. Yeah. That's right. it. And everybody's right. keyed on you on the defensive side of the ball. So, I get why. And I do understand both sides of the uh, of the coin. I, I get mm -hmm. it. It isn't what we look at, especially you know us following the, the years of basketball that we follow as what would be called the mm -hmm. traditional point guard. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, but at the same time, I think that his skill set allows him to still be a point guard and have the ball in his hands, but also be used like um, a lack of a better thought, or a Rip Hamilton coming off screens. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? He mm-hmm. can definitely move like the Rip Hamilton. That he is. Yes, there it is. There it is. He, offensive he's running weapon. the offense without uh, compromising his offense ability. There right. it is. That's what, I, that's what I was trying to say. I, I, I was trying to think of somebody, and that's the first one that popped up because I know how Rip can run off screens. But, yeah, you know, I think that, you know, to Mel's point, you can still be considered a point guard or mm-hmm. the position point guard mm-hmm. uh, like Chris Jackson, Muhammad, Muhammad, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, um, mm-hmm. and still be a, a lead and score, which is what they need for him to do because yeah, he's one it. of the best at that. Do y'all, do y'all, me, th- do y'all think he's better than KD? Real quick, I Let me speak to that I comment right yeah. um, um, it, It's one of those things that takes us back to our first debate about uh, Patrick Mahomes versus uh, a Dan Marino or a Peyton Manning or whatever. Uh, when, when you're judging better, you have to really identify if you're talking about uh, their ability to play the game that they play versus the impact that they've had on the game that they play. So uh, mm-hmm. impact-wise, one can make a case that uh, he's had a greater impact than Kevin Durant. However, yeah. when you're talking about who's the better, if, if you're at a court and you need a, a fifth man, uh, uh, who's a better person to have on your team, Kevin Durant, or uh, who's a better ball player than it's Kevin Durant every day of the week? Oh, just, like, so, so is Kevin Durant that much of a better ball player or is he just yes. seven feet absolutely. tall? No, 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 he's, no, he's better. He's, he's better. It's not even a debate. He's and, better. And, he's all around and the thing, he's all thing all about this, ball. the thing about the, the way we, the way I break down what makes you the best player in the world or a mm-hmm. great player or one of the best players is uh, your all around game, both sides okay. of the ball right. and your lack of or minimum amount of flaws, right? Mm-hmm. All that encompassing together makes you uh, or the candidacy for being the best in the world or a, one of the best players ever, right? Okay. If we break down Kevin Durant's game, mm-hmm. right? Kevin Durant is one of the few that have ever graced the game that mm-hmm. has minimal flaws, right? We see it. He's a he's a three level scorer. He can score anywhere on the court. We know that to be fact. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have any deficiencies at the free throw line. He's a career ninety something percent free throw. Shooter. <laughs> so you can't follow him and think that you're going to get uh, free rebounds back, right? Right. He's grown defensively. He can he can he can move with the quickness of a guard so he can guard the perimeter, but he can also guard in the post as well. We've seen that lately as well, how his defense has, has uh, progressed uh, tremendously uh, since the earlier stages in his career where he was just more so of an offensive threat. Right. But as of, so speaking of right now, right, K, KD's game is practically flawless. Right. The only thing that you could really say is bad about KD's game is that when you get overly physical with KD, mm-hmm. then there, be, there becomes the mm-hmm. mistakes, the turnovers, and then now you're hindering. But the game. even but even getting over physically with KD needs the referee cooperation. Like if you don't, if, if if the referee don't say okay, we go allow that, then there's no defense for KD. You have to allow. You have to allow it. They did it to Shaq as well. I mean, we got to allow something because if we don't, you go score every time. So they allow that on Kevin Durant. And the difference between Kevin Durant and Steph mm-hmm. is a couple of things. Number one is they don't allow you to get physical with Steph like that. When they did allow it, yeah, no, that's true. they lost to the Cavs and, 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 and gave up a 3-1 lead, which I don't think Draymond was the reason why or the only reason why they lost that 3-1 lead. It was because it was, they, cha- it, they changed the way they uh, called the game on Steph Curry and they roughed them up, right? I got I got footage and, and uh, player testimony that attested it. So roughing Steph up is also a game plan that uh, that makes him look very average or normal. When, okay, you don't, when, you, when you don't allow it, he looks like Superman. So the difference between KD mm-hmm. and Steph is they allow roughing up KD. They don't allow for uh, Steph. That's one difference. The second difference is everyone saying he's achieved more, which is because he has stability and Kevin Durant has been a nomad since he left OKC. That sounds right? like a so, choice, though. No, it is a choice, but it, but, but, but the thing is, you can't compare the two. Like, if you're comparing what has happened since he left uh, Golden State, where if one person leaves a, a stable place and can't find a stable place, and the other one stays, it's not a fair comparison. Right, right? But that's so his what, fault. That's his fault. He I, left. I'm not, okay. saying, I'm not saying it's not his fault. It's 100 percent his fault. But what I'm saying is, if I can strip that away and just judge the player, 
then mm -hmm. I'm not using it. I, I when I when I judge players, I try to take all the factors away mm -hmm. that has too many factors. Right, right. Because the outcome of the game has multiple factors on in, in what and what happened. But both sides of the ball. Right. But me looking at what you have in your in your bag and your repertoire and what you can do, that is all you. There's okay. there's only there's only one factor that can actually go into that, and that might be the opposition or how they call the game. Those don't so if it's 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 simplified for me to judge KD and, uh, or any player by saying what can he do, what is the opposition's uh yeah. goal to stop him, and what are the refs doing to either aid it or or uh, uh combat it or, or you know or, or go against yeah. it. Kevin Durant is, is is on an uphill battle. Steph Curry got the whole league with him behind his back. I th I think in this situation, um, the main differentiator, if you're gonna go with Kevin Durant, is that he is better on the defensive end. And to that point, there there are two sides of the game, right? Not just scoring, not just passing, not just offense, but defense counts too. So if you're gonna go with that, then yeah, the, the differentiator is Kevin Durant, um, defensively. Other than that, I, I guess that's a huge thing, right? But I don't, I don't see there being as big a gap between those two as many people do. But I guess that's just me. Well, I mean, but if 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 fifty percent of the game is defense and fifty mm -hmm. percent is offense, and you mm -hmm. say they're even on offense, let's say this, let's just say they're even on offense. Okay. All right. Cool. So are they even on defense? No. All right. So no. the better player is Kevin Durant. I can go yes. with that. Yeah, I, I get it. Okay. I can go with that. Uh, y'all, can, can y'all agree to disagree? No, we I'm saying, I, can, I, I'm saying I, I can go with what he's saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it's logic. Yeah, I, I get yeah, what he's I'm saying. Not, I'm not arguing that. 